Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use track changes in Word. Now, generally you'll use this when you've completed your document and you want to go back and make all those changes which you're not quite sure are right and so you want to track them. Alternatively, if somebody sends you a document and you want to edit it or proofread it, then again, you can use track changes. So in order to use them, if you go up to the review tab here, go down to track changes and click on. This may be a square button, if so, just click that. And at the moment, you won't see anything happening until you start to edit your document. Once you've switched on your track changes, you need to identify how you want to see those track changes appear. There's a drop down here. You can have simple markup, all markup, no markup and original. So if we go to simple markup, this means if I make a change, let's say for example, I delete this sentence. What happens is this small line appears to the left hand side. This tells you that something has been changed within this line. If you want to see it, just click on the hover over the line and click. And then what you'll see over here in what they call a balloon is the changes that have been made. If you want that to disappear, then just go over and click on that line again. You can also access the balloons by going from simple markup to all markup. And that again will bring up your changes to the right hand side. Now, many people don't actually want these balloons to appear and just want the changes to appear within the body of the document. In order to do that, go up to Markup Options, click on the drop down, go down to Balloons and go down and select Show All Revisions in Line. And this is probably what older users are used to with these kind of track changes. The change will appear, but it will change colour and various things will happen. Either there will be a strike through, or it will be underlined, or it will be a different colour. So for example, if I added some text, on this particular occasion, it would be underlined and it would turn red. If you go back up to this menu here, we've obviously covered simple markup or markup. If you have no markup, what will happen is your document will just simply appear as it would if you had just made the changes. Now it's important to remember that if you then send this document to somebody and you haven't actually accepted or rejected those changes, they can go to track changes, select all markup and they will see all of your changes that you've made. So this one can be quite a tricky one and I'd probably avoid it. If you go down to original, again it will also show you the original document, but it's temporary. So if I was to delete this whole paragraph, you can see that all my changes will then reappear. And it needs you to go back to the original to click it to show the original document. So now you can go ahead and also add a comment. So for example, if I wanted to question this sentence, I would highlight it or click my cursor somewhere within this sentence, go up to new comment, and then on the left hand side here you could begin to comment. Alternatively you can go down to all markup options, go to balloons, show revisions in balloons and then your comment will appear here and that might be easier if you click on this box here you can begin to comment is this correct and the reviewer or the individual that has made that comment obviously will appear, their name will appear in that balloon. Now the one thing that you will find with the balloons is that it will not pick up anything that has been added. Anything that has been added will remain within the document and will be identified in the normal way. Anything that has been deleted will vanish but will appear within the balloon. Likewise if there's a comment it will also appear in this balloon. Now, if you don't want to use the balloons because they're a little bit confusing, but you still want to see the comments, then you can simply click on reviewing and everything will come up on the left-hand side here. If you've received this document and you need to comment or reply, then just go to this icon here, or there may be two separate options at the bottom that say reply or resolve, and then you can simply reply using this method. So once you finish your document, it's really important then to go up to each change 
and hit the accept or the reject button. So you can go up to accept if you're happy with this change and it will vanish and immediately move on to the next change. And then you can accept or reject, click reject if not. And then it will move down to the comment. Now for the comments, you can go up and either resolve them or you can delete them. So if we want to delete it, just click that delete the comment and the comment will vanish. You can see when all the changes have been made because if you're on all markup you won't see anything appearing within your document. Once it's complete go ahead and save it and send it to your recipient. I hope that's helped today. If it has please subscribe and have a great day.